what I think it is is that people don't understand what the world really has and what it means. What I'm going to do is read some of these things I have written. Matter of fact, that's why I can't be seen on this video right now. If I were you, I would quit watching this video right now. First thing I realized is that you're not clairvoyant. So therefore, you cannot see what's inside you and how it controls you. And now that you go through things, all feelings are connected and you will be in the wrong to accept your God. Even if you feel wrong about somebody, if you do go against that human, you accepted your God. If you don't go against that human, you accepted your God. You shouldn't talk behind their back or their face. Really, the Antichrist doesn't want problems. But in reality, the spirit will be really believed that the human is off guard and that they are just a human 100% to their selves. So they wake you up. They put you in dreams and they're going to be what destroys in the end. And no matter what, you may feel you live to yourself 100 years without a problem or more. In reality, you're going to still end up getting played by the spirit. Back problems, suicide, horror dreams, people with dementia, people with bipolar and messed up spirits and consciousness are all going to go down in the Antichrist size. <laughs> I'm going to go down. You may feel you live to yourself 100 years without one problem or more. In reality, you're still going to get played by the spirit. Back problems, suicide, horror dreams, people with dementia, people with bipolar, and messed up spirits and conscience are all going to go down in the Antichrist eyes. And they are in reality not helping. So some say, I better stop reading or listening to this. What if my spirit changed? That's your choice. But you won't always be able to escape and you're going to end up facing the facts. Now that the world is gone to some, that's never going to end for them. People that die and they will still be seeing things and going through that shit for the rest of eternity and hiding the shit I said from their kids and keeping on living. Now that the world is gone to some, that's never going to end for them people that die and they will still be seeing things and going through the shit for the rest of eternity. So suicide is not an escape because you will still be able to feel your body and see things with your eyes. Some humans that are blind living starts to see with their eyes again. You will go through thousands and hundreds of stimulations in a dream. Some are short. Some are long when you're dead. It also depends on how your spirit inside of you is. Your God. That's the dependent on if they will mess with your head. Some people doesn't know, but humans aren't the only one with diseases. Some spirits have diseases that they may can't even control. And they think it's them, but it's something higher than them and that they are not seeing. Hallucinations in this book is meaning that it is real and being seen, though everyone cannot see the same things. So in the normal instances, it's seeing things when someone else don't believe you saw or can't know if you seen. They may disregard this nature altogether. Realize millennialism, millennialism, this is for the people you cannot stop a millennium. You have to go with, you have to go through certain things that will be the world's masses turn into slush and rain and snow seasons stay the same. Some countries only have two seasons already, raining seasons and dry seasons. No winter, no spring, no fall, and dry may could be summer, but no summer. Now when the daylight saving time is idiotic, 
based on a light in the sky actually doing something different and better than an eclipse, the world would have end there. But it would be a sign of the return of Christ or the returning of Christ coming to destroy the Antichrist. The education say that the return of Christ can only be known through the spirit or spiritual nature. Don't forget it. Don't fucking forget it. 11 o'clock p.m. will seem as if daytime in the United States, whether it was daylight saving time or not. Pops to the ears. The spirit can do it to you anytime it wants. Make you feel something is going on to your ears that is not normal. Pop to your ears can be done by me even if I didn't choose to. Eleven o'clock PM will seem as if daytime in the United States, whether it was daylight savings time or not, which the difference will not be missed. Antichrist has no choice but to be negative when it comes up another shot or drugs. What kind of person does that make the Antichrist beer seem like? That's right, the bad one. What if the Antichrist had a bad background? What if the Antichrist was using negative words a whole lot? What if the Antichrist has started problems? What if the Antichrist doesn't control himself physically or spiritually? What if the Antichrist only lived through dreams to itself? What the outcome will be bad? What the outcome will be bad? It will be bad! I don't want to be bad! 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 It will be fucking bad! Simple! Fucking bad! Because, because of the way the world is. Because many people will want to be with the Antichrist. But the Antichrist may be more of a spiritual being. So he won't be that progressed to be involved with normal humans who thinks that if the Antichrist and they cuss like Antichrist, that it is the same. It isn't the same, and it's opposite. And it's fakely being used as an abomination of the world's laws. And the only person who really, the only person who really wants negativity is the Holy Spirit, who sits around messing with humans' brains because he doesn't care what they are or what they become. It's a known fact in the world it's possible and it's a known fact that people go to church and pray to what fucking with some of these other people. My discussion is closed. Now. Now, now, now. He still has the power to stroke them and give them a heart attack. He'll start them out with an earache. Some say, so now with the Antichrist knowing all this, that the spirit can do this to all the humans, and that they go to church and pray to this, whoever he is, do you believe that the Antichrist is wrong? Even if you did, that won't matter. <clears throat> Education and reality is what have destroyed the world so far. Insects and other rodents may be the Antichrist of insects. How real is that to some average humans? Maybe in reality, what they really don't want to do is sit around and talk about an insect being higher than them. But the alternative, the television station called the Animal Planet, you can reduce the logic, but in reality, you don't control yourself. I'm writing this at the belief that you're not clairvoyant and that you cannot control yourself. The, the reality is, it's, it's, it's not myself that I need to prove anything to. It may be adorations or something, homogeneous, but that's not everything neither. Why? Why? Because I think that I'm cursed. There is no cure because the curse is being human, being made out of semen. A little visible substance that grows and pull hands and shit out of your body. In reality, I'm not mad about anything that I've went through my whole entire life. I just think that if I shouldn't make it to the afterlife, then therefore in reality, there shouldn't even be an afterlife. This is not about killing myself because, because I'm not exactly running from life. And that I know I still have dreams while I'm dead. I know I still have dreams while I'm dead. I know I still have dreams while I'm dead.
Now, how did you expect me to give to forgive myself for how I live? Being human in general, I don't think anyone who's hearing this expects anything. Why? Because they don't care. But if they do, I don't know. But this writing was not wrote based on writing people. That is just a form of living. I think that prosperous longitudes can bring people down. I lure people that blame problems on drinking. If when that I can believe in the detection that the other person knew that they were going to be higher and that they knew that they was going to be able to get over on who they brought this up to. And that's a general statement. It doesn't have to be about me. Some people may seem like they do nothing to the people by not working jobs and things like that. They be around, but uh, some people like that who doesn't do that never come straight forward to the people they're around and disrespect them. It's when someone checks them that they start cussing and having problems. Also, I think that some of the metropolitan housing authorities in the world are backwardsly increasing homelessness by not allowing people to live if they have caught a domestic violence case. They must not realize some people go through things with their family and that decent move is really what they needed. Lord, Jesus places certain barriers on people. I just think inside the circle, but everything I write depends on if somebody wants to be inside that circle or not. To understanding what's real. Not going out to kill and harm unless that's what you choose and prefer as a God of yourself. However, if that's what you're thinking you should do. I have worshipped multiple things in life. Now that I've came to an understanding with myself, no one else understands me. Now Now that the walls are closing in on my heart and mind, I try to find a safe place to hide. Actually, I just use a place where I don't have to do shit and then wait to die. That's fucked up, isn't it? That's the real deal, though. I don't believe in the dictionary. Some say, how can you write these words and not believe in a dictionary. It's quite easy. I don't think about what's right or wrong. I don't focus on what people feel about me. I am intelligent. And I don't want to place myself by people who don't think of intelligence towards me. Because what they're going to do is lure me, disrespect me, and hurt me. And I don't want to go through that. Regardless how strong I can be and how good I can handle the situation. So you can be aware of the subliminal games I play with myself. And you can create the reality that is not harmful for yourself. I think self-denial is something that they teach stupid counselors that can't figure out which way that they're going. So they stick with their little addiction of only talking to people. That's a reality. That's in reality what doctors and those, those, those sorts of people believe that talking is the way to go. Talking is the way to go. Emotions are in the reality sense. A big, big deal to most people. Or either they, they, they want to look over their own emotions. Now that the situation is really the ion that promotes against human nature, we can see that you can revolve around the title when we can believe that some people don't need help and they don't want help. And you can become what you wanted and tell the truth to be concluded with the end of the fucking world. They relate to shit that could not be real. Now, when the real source inside of them is what's fucking with them, hell, they may never even know. Now, you can have another fight, have another argument. You can touch on another kid's sexual. You can steal from another store. In reality, this is what God wanted to destroy humans or make them like it. If that's the case, that they like these situations and are not mad about the reality of the world, then it's a way to go. In reality, it's what God wanted to destroy him is that it's bullshit. And I don't believe in sin. I use the word sin because the way of the world. But I can give a fuck about some invisible motherfucker coming to whip my ass or spiritually destroy me. So that's the fuck God in me. If I ever cussed out some human and when it gets them, any one of the humans in the universe, then evidently I would go against an invisible source if it appeared as an appariation or something. 
Because why would I go against my own creators as a mother or father if I wouldn't find wrong and doubt in this invisible fucker named God? Now the ways of the nature is guiding me. I don't want to be an a atheist or an antichrist. You just need to not face reality things in the world. That's it. It's in my eyes where I don't see a threat and you can sit there and try to compensate what the words have brought to the death of my daughter that I never had and diss me. I can see on three passes. I will never create a kid because I learned too much in the world in my life to let them ever have a dream, ever eat a piece of food or anything that can hurt them or destroy them. And I will never. But I think it's wise to make a kid and do it for yourself. Now the ways of nature is guiding me. It's in my eyes where I don't see a threat. I can see on three passes and them passes aren't God. It wouldn't matter why I never felt nothing wrong toward the spirits for 18 years or more of my life being changed because everything was already going on wrong. I was just blind, blind to the facts. Now that I can change the facts and be happy with death, you can live and be the best for you and God. Now you can consider another astonishing fact. Very astonishing, I should say. If it's possible, I would say. The power to cure. And you can think that something higher than you is not jealous of you and wants to destroy. How do you figure all the people who created some of the top products in the world keep dying? It's because the Holy Spirit didn't care enough about they self. Now we can go around in a plane and move around happy. Now we can wait for the spirit to destroy us and make us not want to talk and not give a fuck about who we are around. How would it be if everyone in the world was happy and there was never no problem and they know us 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 Now we can go around. Now you can say I created all them problems because you're mad at yourself. And and a video that was too real for you and your life and family and kids. You're mad about what you couldn't do to succeed inside your spirit. And you can stay depressed and melancholy because a spirit that wants to sound and be you controls you when you don't know. And that we move. The breath of the air is so good that you can sit there telling yourself you feel good. Don't listen to the counselor. They will really be putting things on your brain that you didn't need. Just like me, I guess. I don't believe it. I'm too real. You will find out when you hide the facts that you were never depressed and they're socially fucked up, some people. And then when you got older, that you started believing in this somehow that you was depressed. Because of how the world is. And or change, I can say. We can destroy ourselves quicker and tell lies to yourself and behave. But when the water rises and you can't swim and that's a problem, you can find the truth within yourself and that makes you a stronger person. Now that you can behave and accept all the rules in the world and commit to sanctuary. The Holy Spirit can give anybody a heart attack. A earache any time it wants. It takes people and does it for whatever reason it chooses, and it's on them. It has very strong powers. I am the wizard. I can't be detected, right? We will see from the opposite side of this angle that the devil is God. And they use separation of the devil when it's God to give some people hope that this was not the same God that caused both problems and tried to make it look good. I know what's going to happen. I'm the wrong person for all this writing I did and making this video. That's how good God is to make people feel and do good in their life. 
and just look over this video and respect their kids and family and eat their food and love their self and love their vehicles, love their girls when they having sex, love the way they go kick it and go to clubs, but they will not understand what's real, I say. It's not about keep watching it. It's about understanding what's real if you watch it. All diseases and sicknesses are caused by the spirit. There's no real disease that came from eating or smoking cigarettes. That's what the doctors are designed to use to hide the truth that the Holy Spirit does what it wants to the human body. And it's also what's morally incorrect, not necessarily, but to me and what that I don't believe in something higher. Anything that hurts me or fuck over me is what I don't love in me. You can make sure you don't love in me, me who was ever watching this, but who cares? Because I won't, but I will put a stop to whatever I can if it's written in my name. Now that you can decide what's right for me and you can relocate, that is some shit that you can place yourself in your own shoes. You can place yourself in your own shoes and not be yourself and not be yourself. You can place yourself in your own shoes and not be yourself. The way to get over things. But in reality, getting over things means not going through what first had you change your ways and about the world. You can have luxuries and things of that nature. So if your mental health was not right for you, you would still feel agitated. Disorientation. Disturbance of orientation in time, place, or person clouding of consciousness. Incomplete, clear, mindliness, with and or without disturbances. This is not just about mental health. This is about all health. It's about counseling that cannot help the spirit itself, but then try to minority the human as the basis. Now that I will seal the deal in life and make sure that I never make a child, that is the true never forgiving God for what he's so sick and deranged to continue. Appropriate condition, appropriate condition in which emotional tone is in harmony with and or without accompanying ideal, thought, or speech. Most people only care about their self and what they believe. They could believe that their whole family mostly go to church and then comply that there's no such thing as hearing voices as in psychic and as in schizophrenia. These are the type of people some don't like. I think that you are what you are and in that effect you think insects and other creations don't have feelings. Now that the passes of what was in the air, they wanted me to guide myself for the spirit world. I'm not having it and with the unlimited dreams that will come with death, there was no forgiveness. A true man will never forgive and never forget. When it comes to humans, not their God, when it comes to humans, that I guess they don't accept as a God. Problems will be separated and motherfuckers never talk to again. People will end up not being known in the same room with the one they have problems with in some situations. I have a true understanding of life. This book shows my intellectual side to a certain extent. Now with prayer, I feel ignorant towards prayer because it's ignorant towards me. So when I rewrap what was really never nothing in my way, I was never really broke and couldn't have shit. Everything is what it is. Anything that God created to lure humans, that's what I don't love him for. And the only true person who is going to know what is real is God. I don't want to be the Antichrist. I don't want to be... I don't want to be a person that goes against God. I'm not an atheist. I'm agnostic as hell, but I'm not an atheist. I'm only telling true facts about what God does and don't care. Been doing it before I was born. Been doing it during when I was born. Ain't gonna be doing it after. No matter why my sucker self is dead and can't have no friends, nobody loves me because of video I made. He's gonna win. I'm not mad. Just reminding myself about the facts. Nobody in this world can tell me anything. Money fucks with their mind. Houses fuck with their mind. People not talking to them fucks with their mind. This doesn't fuck with me. Catatopic, catatonic, cat, <laughs> what am I saying? Catatonic stupor. Marketedly slowed motor activity, often to a point of immobility and seeming unawareness of surroundings. The only thing that fucks with me is spiritual things, and I don't give a fuck about recovery. It's this simple. There's nothing to recover. I've recreated nothing in this fucking universe, and whatever or whomever created the universe wanted the universe. 
the way that it was for each human being and other being of life. I sacrificed enough. Artistic thinking, magical thinking, what I didn't need along on the trip with me was no brothers or sisters or any family members. I needed to be a self person so I could only respect myself and always do good and be good for myself and never have a problem. I was better off as a loner. I was better off as a rapist. Now as they read more into my mind and see how I can be, they'll 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 find out that they can live their life without me. Cause they scared of me. They scared of the wizard. They scared of the wizard. They don't like the wizard. The wizard is not good. Now that I see addiction in the eyes of what I reciprocate, if I want the drug, I get the drug. If God created the drug for me, I can have the drug if God like me to have it. If someone don't want the drug, they don't have to get the drug. I was really the one who taught myself how to tie shoes. I accept even if somebody else could have. And 90% of my education came from me without needing to be taught in school. So in reality, I have surpassed everything I should have learned in high school by teaching myself with educational books. School is only a belittling foundation when they call people stupid and slow and things like that. That's a belittling foundation that was created by the world's masses. And that's not going to work for everyone's life. And I resonate the belief that I've been touched spiritually. I think when some get touched, that they go to church all the time and or every Sunday because of the fear they have for death and what they're scared of taking care of their own family past the age of 18. Some people, I'm not talking about myself. I am the wizard. I have no worries in life. The disability is going with their God and fuck what they created. Don't ask me how because there's too many people going against their own family and that's what God wanted and that's why they still love God over their family and friends and go against the people in the world. Probably because he can't be seen and they can't argue with the motherfucker. Probably because he ain't always there staring, staying and staring and bitching at them. Probably. Probably why they still keeping him and loving him if he was a human. Now we can see into the world's blues and they can believe that you can read can reason with the function now that you can underwrite the laws of the world and you can make sure that you want it and we see the real source man gotta really be up for theyself and fuck their family and what and, and what they've been taught and that's the reality for many people that can that get didn't give a fuck about their mamas or daddies wouldn't give a fuck about seeing them or being with them you know what I am through with this video even though I had a lot more on this writing to go into but what I think it is, I have said enough. I am the wizard. I am intelligent. I know things about the world that is over all humans. Therefore, I can't talk and do things with humans about these natures and things that I speak of because it's not a talking thing. It's an understanding thing that never in self and just being one with self like making books and videos it's not for me to do in certain situations I think that the foundation is really basic to the articulation of what has been demonstrated I think that it's, it's, it's this, this video is real serious to me Maybe it shouldn't have been a lot of people who could see this. Maybe no one should have seen this video. But I will be posting it on all type of video sites and things like that. Even on campaigns or some. Anything I can think of somehow. Whenever I choose or whenever I want or some. But it will be remembered to me and recorded on whatever date this is. I'm the wizard. I don't have to go by dates and when things were created to certain situations. That's all I have to say.